I'm here to talk to you about our democracy. And I'm here to talk to you about making it real online. And my subject is authenticating online consultation. Democracy has a regulatory process for public consultation. Public consultation, through a deliberative process, is supposed to create hard evidence to inform our decision-making and public policy development. Those are the outcomes. But sadly, that's not the case. And as a result, many people don't vote. People don't participate in public decision-making because they're cynical and they are alienated from the process. The historical model is broken. We used to go to public meetings, but now only the usual suspects and NIMBYs are the kinds of people that show up. It's not accessible. Most people wouldn't be caught dead there. We used to be able to knock on people's doors and ask them questions about how they felt about things going on in their own neighborhoods, but you can't do that anymore because people think it's a home invasion or you're trying to sell them something. And you can't use landline telephones if you're trying to deal within a specific uh, spatial or geographical area because you know people don't have landline telephones and if they have them, they don't answer. So we need to be able to consult with people online, but of course, the internet is anonymous, and uh, as a result, it's been very difficult for us to be able to obtain any kind of verifiable evidence. We've looked at things like gaming of the system. If someone wants to dominate a process, they get as many people as they can on there, and you have no way of knowing if it's the same person or where they're coming from. Trolls are an enormous problem when you're dealing with anything controversial. Social media is a wonderful way of obtaining feedback, and you can do things like sentiment analysis. But even by their own admission, Facebook has 7% of all profiles are bogus. So we can't depend on it for what we really need, which is hard evidence to inform our decision making and our public policy development. Now, of course, to be able to maintain that, there's a little problem, and it's called online privacy. So we've looked at privacy very carefully, and the solution that we've come up with on the project PlaySpeak I've been working on is at the intersection of church and state there. We verify people to place, but we do not pass on the private information to proponents of consultations. We don't advertise, we don't sell our any data. We use a software as a service model in order to protect the privacy of the people. So I describe what we're doing as privacy by design but it still is able to provide that verifiable feedback data to proponents of consultations. How do we do that? We do it through a series of, of automated and opt-in measures. When people register, they, they uh, put in their address, the system verifies them that way, and then we ask them to go through subsequent layers of authentication on an opt-in basis. So what we're doing is really geosocial. You create a profile, um, you determine your settings either for privacy, your verification settings, and your notification settings. So you can say, I want to be notified about things that are relevant to me within a kilometer of my home, or I might be able to choose uh, to be notified about things like housing or education or transportation, as the case may be. Because what we're trying to accomplish here is a citizen-centered network effect, wherein I can be notified by all levels of government, regulated agencies, private sector, community nonprofit organizations about things that are relevant to me and provide feedback based on proximity. And as more and more open data becomes available again through all levels of government, this makes it possible for us to be able to share that information with the people and empower the people. We can limit and restrict participation so that you're hearing from people that live in your own town or your own neighborhood and not someone from Timbuktu. It's important that we be connecting with the people that are affected by decisions and policies and that the data that we are providing that is verifiable is going to provide that sound, supportable, and defensible evidence to support the process. Because at the end of the day, what are we doing it for? We're doing it to help strengthen our democracy in a day and age when people have lost faith in the process. They don't vote anymore. They certainly don't participate in public consultations. And in 
until we start to authenticate that online process, we will not be in a position to transform our democracy. So thank you very much for coming out. And I hope you'll take a chance and, and look at PlaySpeak because we really do feel that we can make a difference when we're able to take our internet technology to the next level in our democracy. Cheers.